Hi, Sunshines. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And, and together, together we are Mac Curls. <laughs> and so we are back with another Mac Curls review and tutorial. Mm -hmm. We are actually back with the main choice exotic Kool Aid line. Yes. Because we just did it for Treatment Tuesday. We did. And now we are here to just officially talk about the rest of the line and yeah. do the stylers and all of that. Should yeah. we show what products are in the line? Why not? Let's do that. The main choice. You have been dying for this line. I have. So, so one of our subscribers yes. sent the entire line to us. Mm -hmm. And you were so excited. This is I the one so that excited. you wanted to try. Yeah. And so thank you, Jen Loves Nail Polish. Yeah, thank you, Jen Loves Nail Polish. She sent us the whole thing. I was yeah. like shook it when I opened the package. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> the whole thing is here. Like, <laughs> way too generous. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, so okay. there are one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We can count. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There are five products in this line. All right. Um, let's jump into them. All right. So the first one that we started off the foundation of this hair is um, the Exotic Kool-Aid Minty Guava and Kiwi Shampoo. Which was like, it's like popular because yes, it's, it's just the look of it. Yeah. Something about like the applicator is just cool and yeah. like it's minty and it's green. Yes, it's very, very, very minty. Yeah. And, um, so we both washed our hair with it today. We did. So okay. We'll review as we go. Uh, we'll we'll kind review of, as, um, not, or maybe we'll just, we'll just show them what we have and then as we are putting in our stylers and we can talk about. Okay. Products. Okay. Yeah. So there is a shampoo in the line. And then they have a sweet papaya and pineapple infinite conditioner, which okay. this has a lot of uses. They say it's a co-wash, a leave-in, a rinse out, a detangler, and a pre-poo. Wow. Okay. So it, it can do all of that. Yeah. And um, I guess it's, you would choose what you want to use it for because yeah. it's eight ounces. It's like that favorite one that we had over there um, from one of their original yeah. lines that was like a three, three in one. one. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So that's kind of like what that is. Yeah. The line's kind of slogan is the healthy hair food. So all of these kind of have like food in them. So this one's like papaya and pineapple. Okay. Um, there's a mask. Of course. Yeah. A mask. If you're coming from our other mask video, then this is the mask. This is the mask. Just real quick. Even though we went to great detail in the other mask, we did the video. Yeah, we reviewed. So, okay. We reviewed the mask in that video. All right, so what's it called? This is called the Fresh Mango and Passion Fruit Mask. I think so we did everything right it now. said it was going to do. So if you haven't seen that video, we well, want want to head on over after you see this one. Yeah. In my opinion, <laughs> mango was the hardest thing to cut. I bought some mango the other day, and I was like butchering that mango. Yeah. I could not. I kept like hitting the pit. I couldn't figure out how to cut them. I can't cut a mango. Yeah. When you cut a good one, it's super. Um, I was gonna say thought out. When it's super ripe, oh my god, it's so good. It's not, so not good. Too yeah. ripe. That's gonna be not too unripe and not too too ripe it has to be yeah. just like that perfect but there has to be like a way to like know where to cut it I and i think there's like a method to the madness but it i just is. i just kept sticking the knife in it like trying to figure out yeah. where to cut. you can't stick down too deep okay <laughs> it was too right. much. okay you know how we stray okay right, here we go so um, the next are right, you want to show these, these styles? yeah so there is a gel in this line it is the luscious lychee and dragon fruit definition of definition definition <laughs> of definition jello let me see it says Definition of definition. Wait, is dragon dragon fruit definition, definition of definition jello? jello. <laughs> okay, and right. it's pink. Oh, look at cute. It matches me. All right, try pink. to get it to match me. I smell. Oh, it smells so okay. good. It smells kind of sour. Yeah, but like all this stuff, you expect it to smell berry. Yeah, but it smells, it smells um, like, like fruit sour. Yes, like yes, fruity. exactly. Fruit sour, not like sour, sour not a bad sour, sour but yeah. fruity. Tangy. Yeah. Tangy. All the stuff is tangy, okay? Tangy. And then we have the Mellow Melon and Nectarine Melted Shine Oil. This smells really good. The only thing that worries me about this is it the color. Because it, yeah, it, okay. um, careful about getting, like that, no, 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 right. I feel like that would stain, like, real Ooh, bad. Oh, yeah, show that, look up, lift up that towel and show like, that. Like, just put it on the towel, like... Don't be wearing white or anything good. Yeah. Um, I feel like if you use that, I know I my brother came in. I was like, let me put some oil on your hair. And I, like, sprayed it on my hands and put it on his head. Um, because spraying that directly, even though it has a nice spray, I just, the color of that, I don't yeah. know. I, I don't that's know. interesting. But I do like the Very, oils. very yellow and orange. Yeah, because yeah. I like that oil from Pro Culture that Jen Loves Nail Polish gave me as well she's just our main choice gal <laughs> our main choice connection that you'd think but no it just it just she just blesses us and that we're very grateful for that yeah so all right so in this video we are going to be styling our hair we're going to be using the pineapple leave-in mm -hmm. and the gel the jello yeah. and jelly to style our hair so that's what's going down in this video 
So no. if we'd like to hear more about these products and um, watch us style our hair, then and please keep watching. Please keep watching. Okay. So first things first, water. water. I try to match. <laughs> <laughs> We're aesthetic. We're like honest. I feel like this is like um. I keep wanting to say tropical because I'm thinking of tropical moringa, but it's not. It's like exotic. Yeah, these are kind of like exotic. Main choice really takes us out of our comfort zone and makes us really kind of jazz it up in our video. Yeah, our as, as far as, as like taking colors. out our backgrounds and everything in the main choice videos. So we shampooed and conditioned our hair with the products from this line, Mom. Let's yes. give our okay. opinions. All right. Okay. So the shampoo, I thought. Okay, I like the spout because a lot of brands are doing that spout thing but they the brands direct you to the scalp so i picked it up and i read it and it said that poured in your palm so i said okay so that's interesting that they would have a spout on there you would think that it would be more directional to your head but it wasn't so i put it in my palm and put it in my head and it's super lathery and so i you know went through my whole head with it but i kind of you know went off the rails and tried to put it to my scalp because i just felt like that was like for a purpose, but I don't think it was. And so I felt that once I rinsed it out, because I concentrated on my scalp like that, there was parts that I might have missed rinsing out, but I don't think that it that I did because you had the same experience with the next product that I added to my hair, which was the conditioner, the rinse yeah. out conditioner or this three in one or the four in one, whatever this is. Once I put it in, so many suds started coming out of my hair from, I thought the shampoo, even though I had been fully rinsed out, but I don't know if it's the makeup of this product or something because it is four in one kind of, it's a co-wash, it's a pre-poo, all of that. So it kind of comes back on you. So I'm waiting to see now because my hair, again, once again, is fully rinsed out. Yeah. Um, just twice because, over now. Just so. because of something we read where it said towel dry your hair first before you use the product. So I'm like, maybe if you, if we shampoo our hair in the shower and then we go right in with this, it's like too much. Our hair is too wet. Because yeah. we both experience like all these like suds and white stuff and all yeah. this kind of stuff. But um, right now, um, I don't see that. I just put some in my hair oh, and, and I don't see anything. Did you spray the section before you put it in? Yes, I did. Okay. I mean, my hair's not sopping wet, um, okay. but I don't feel anything. One thing for sure is it is so much slip. It does. Wow. It's an amazing conditioner. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. So when you use the shampoo, I didn't care for the shampoo, mm -hmm. and I probably wouldn't go back to that. But it's it's you, really minty. Yeah, you have got to have this conditioner on standby to be ready to put it in your hair once you rinse that shampoo out. Yeah. Um, so now I'm going in with the Jello just to kind of show you guys the consistency. What does it feel like? It's um, it feels like a like feels like a Jello. Okay. Like I feel like like when you go like this, it's not coming out. So it's not watery. It's um, let's say it's like a, I don't know what to compare it to, but I don't want to use a lot. I'm gonna start going in. I'm gonna go with, with a okay. little first. What do the directions say? How to do it? Just like that a good separate question. in section by section. Um, I did not read the directions. Okay. So let me pick it up and I'll read the directions. Probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um. Directions to define curls. Apply to clean, wet, or damp hair in sections. Apply gel sparingly from roots to ends to set desired style. Okay. And then it says air dry and all that kind of stuff. And then for best results, style gel for washing, go twist outs or braid outs. Okay. So yeah, use sparingly. All right. So I will do the leave-in and the gel and work my way around doing both at the same time so it looks like it could have some elongation because like okay, yeah. look at that like okay, um I like that. but i put it on that piece of hair it's just kind of staying yes down there. it feels like the kind of gel i always look for certain kinds of gels though it's not like the clear gel that um i would be accustomed to looking for there's a certain kind of a texture that it has and this is the texture that elongating gels have yeah it's just a very smooth and easy application kind of a feel to a gel and when you put it through your hair you can kind of see your hair elongating i love these kind of gels so after we shampooed and conditioned we did our treatment tuesday with the mask yes um which we both loved yes. the mask was amazing it did everything it said it was going to do and the results were like awesome yeah my hair was so soft and you know we say that probably week after week because it's what the masks that we use and it's kind of like what they say to find. And so and there's nothing wrong with that. But we have to, what they say that I'm glad that the products say, state what they're going to do and they do it. Yeah. And this one for sure, I even said in the video that it was a standout kind of a softness because though we hear that week after week, this one to me would stand out for softness. Also, 
what I was, I didn't know how to describe it, but you said it once you said the word, I was like, okay, that's what I'm seeing and feeling, the elasticity. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, kind of didn't know, but you know, as you're on your journey and you start knowing things more and more, now I know what to look for. Now I know what elasticity is. It's kind of like the bounce back. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. Because as I was feeling my hair and it was super soft, it also felt bounce back -ish. Yeah, like I can even like feel my hair. It's just like yeah. springing. Feels nice yeah. after that mask. So it had a lot of claims in there that it absolutely met. And so... Good line. You're shiny. I love that line. Um, how you just said, like, you, we feel like we say that, like, um, every week about stuff. Like, you know, what do I have so much lip? It has this yeah. and that. And so I know sometimes in the comments we'll see, like, people saying, like, oh, my gosh, we can't keep up with you guys. We're feeling overwhelmed. Our pocketbooks, our purses, our yeah. this and that. Like, we don't bring you stuff to, like, push it on you. Like, you need to buy this new mm -hmm. video, new line. You need to buy this. We're just reviewing brands for you guys and lines and whatever you guys want to buy or try. That's why we're really leery about always, like, announcing codes because codes, to me, would speak money. Like, codes mean to go to that site and start shopping and then use a code. And it's like, everyone doesn't want to do that. Videos are fun to watch. You like the people that are presenting the videos. You know, you like our personalities. Like we say, we're macro fam because we are. And so you like that, but everyone's not looking to buy. And a lot of us on this channel are product junkies and we're like, we are, have got to stick to some of these, say, New Year's resolutions, clean out some of our old stash. Mm -hmm. I mean, this constant buying, buying, buying is not going to be working like forever. This is not working. Yeah. And you have to remember that we are influencers and uh, people, brands send us things. We definitely have, say, a job allowance, so to speak, because it's our job. The way somebody maybe would put money aside weekly for gas money or train fare, whatever you might need to get to your job. Mm -hmm. We feel like in order for us to do our jobs, we need the tools, and the tools are the, the products. products. To me, I think it's a little more pricier than some jobs because it's just constant buying products and you can't possibly go through them all and that's the make of the job like buying products and testing them so it can be extremely costly so we are very grateful at times when people send them to us but no you can't possibly keep up with what we're doing yeah it's um it's it's our job and so that's why so we're we, just showing you what's out there mm -hmm. if you're not happy new people are coming on our channel all the time and if you're not happy with what you're using now or you want to try something you know, like the ones that are already on our channel, we kind of all know like what each other's using, so to speak. But there's new ones coming out there seeking and looking and searching, newly natural, looking for something new. And I mean, sometimes people like find our old videos and they're like, you know, I just came across like this particular brand and like you had a review on their products. Like that's what basically the videos yes. are for. Just yeah. if you're ever interested in that line or that brand and we just like we'll review the products for you. Right. But that's, that's all we do. Buy at your discretion. I mean, and you make suggestions and we can't always like meet those suggestions. Um, but we do the best that we can, but definitely, as we've been stating since the beginning of the year, like we're very cautious now how we do our hair. It's mm -hmm. winter and it's dry weather out there. The hair can become brittle. So all of this willy nilly doing all these washing goals and stuff right. that we did last year, like we're just very careful. The products that we select, the lines that we select, we try to do a little bit more educational videos. So we have some time and some breaks from doing, wetting our hair all the time. So our hair is not fragile and breaking off we gotta be very careful of that and then we'll be bald headed we won't have a channel <laughs> <laughs> so yeah definitely has elongation so you can see you always know when a gel is going to be yeah now this conditioner has so much slip and it smells like pineapple mm -hmm. it smells so good so this line is exclusively at walgreens at the moment um you can't buy it from their website it is only at walgreens and um let's go through some prices okay so the shampoo is $13.99 the pineapple conditioner, which is what we're using right now as the leave-in, is $14.99. And this has multiple uses, so maybe it might be worth the price, but I don't know because it's 8 ounces. But $14.99 for all that it does. The mask is $16.99. The gel is $14.99. And the oil is $12.99. Okay. But I feel like Walgreens has always, like, maybe buy one, get one 50% off, like that kind of thing, so... You might be okay. able to catch like a Walgreens sale. Mm -hmm. And as I always say, you don't need the whole You don't need like the entire line. Sometimes you can substitute um, different things. You don't necessarily need the shampoo to kick it off. You know, you can use something that you're more comfortable with. I like what I'm seeing here. If I ever use the line again, you know, on one of my days off, I would not necessarily, definitely not the shampoo again for me. Okay. But um, so I would use something that I already like at the house. I like this. Yeah, most of the time, um, that's why it was like a treat when we saw that like, we had the whole line. Because most of the time, we just buy the stylers. Yeah. We just review the stylers. If you check any of our main choice videos, it's just the stylers for yeah. you guys. Because when we 
started when we got into the main choice sometime last year we started noticing you know they're a little on the pricey side you know and so we if just you want to like choose. buy more than one thing that's right. when it starts adding up so like buying one thing maybe for like 12.99 is not like horrible but if you need you know two or three things that's when it kind of starts adding up yeah as opposed to a line that has say products that are five dollars you can buy like three things for 15 bucks or like whatever like something like that and when but. you're on the natural hair journey long enough you realize that you don't necessarily need to start from the top to do the whole line to make it successful you can have a successful wash and go with just the stylers mm -hmm. you know it might Sometimes if you become like I was initially, I want the whole line, I want the whole line, you know, and, and you're not a product tester, that's fine because you can afford to do that. That would be something that you would stick with for months and yep. that it would work for you. But um, for us, we cannot always buy the shampoo and the conditioner. So it definitely is a treat when the lines are sent to us and um, or when you guys send us line like with our little peel box, we get packages. Little treats. Yep. We haven't forgotten you guys that have sent packages we have it on the shelf there and we're like oh my gosh this one jumped to the top because this is something you really wanted to try you're so excited so but we still have things that we have to test and we're cognizant of it okay. Okay. Are you liking it? i love it i mm -hmm. just i i have not had an issue with any main choice many mm -hmm. main choice products we've ever tried no. up until this point like as yeah. far as their stylers go, we did the for the culture we love the oh, yeah. the um the ancient Egyptian the tropical moringa like I've never had an issue. That for the so. culture is my absolute favorite, and I will see. I have to compare that because out of all the ones we've tried that you just named, the ancient Egyptian, the tropical moringa, all of that, my holdout, my favorite is the for the culture. I like the packaging. I like what it did to my hair. I like the charcoal aspect of it. I like I loved all that stuff, and so this one you really wanted to, but I'm gonna. Compare though I say not to compare, but why not today? It's main choice against main choice. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to see, but that's gonna it's gonna have to take something to really surpass my thoughts on that one. I mean, you honestly you can't go wrong with the main choice. Yeah, no, you like, can't. Um, quality, good quality products. Good quality. We've pretty much tried the lines. I think we missed out on that emerald one. Yes, we have not done the emerald one. Yeah, was it emerald? Is it emerald? Oh, sport. For, no, no, no. Um, four leaf clover. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So that's the only one we didn't try. I think because we were new to main choice and the prices, I don't know why, because we've had more, you know, higher Spent prices. More. Yeah. But um, I don't know, something about like just getting into the collections and seeing that one. We didn't want to start there. And I think they kind of specified, which I don't like when brands do that because it scares people away that don't know any better. Maybe I should say, maybe I didn't know any better, but when they specified fours, type four hair, it scared me. I'm thinking like, why spend the money if it's not going to work for my hair? But that's simply not true. Mm -hmm. We found that any type hair can make anything work. You just have to adjust your expectations, expectations and the amount that you would use, mm -hmm. you know, so. Oh, yes, I like this the way it's going in. I feel like any product or anything is, is expectations. Yeah. Like what your hair is going to look like. Because all hair types, you know, are different. And we could all say, you know, type 2, type 3, type 4, all slap the same product in our hair. And it's going to mm -hmm. look different in all of our heads. Yeah. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Me too. Yeah, my, my hair just smells so good. It smells like a fruit salad. That's mm -hmm. a cute line, the Kool-Aid. That's cute. I like food names for, for um, products. All right. So okay, the product is in. Product is in. We are going to go um, air dry. Yes. Air dry hair. Maybe get some food. Yeah. Yeah. Get some food. Get yeah. some little food. Just trying to arrange my hair the way I want it to dry. All right. All right. Um, yeah, so we're going to go air dry our hair, and we'll be back to show you guys these results. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. And we are back. These are our results. This is Lori Ann <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> Before we came on, she like flicked it. I was just like, oh, let's trying to match the aesthetics. Girl, it doesn't match. Does it? No, it matches okay. a little bit, girl. I don't know. Anyway, I was trying to have a tropical theme going here. But anyway, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. It gave my hair so much density and fullness because it's winter and I've been shedding and I've, feel, I've been feeling thinness and... I've been seeing thinness and um it just kind of like brought it back to its dense self oh i like it too my hair is very um yeah, it's, it's curly dense i will say though i feel like tropical moringa gets my hair a little bit more moisturized like mm -hmm. i i feel like people might notice how like my hair might be lacking maybe some sort of shine here i don't know mm -hmm. but my my curls are very curly um 
We did both put the oil in, but that didn't seem to have done anything. Although I still like the oil. It still like the smells oil. amazing. It smells really good. I really like it. Just caution whoever uses it that it does come out very orange. Yeah, it's very and orange. I don't know if it stains because we didn't test to see if it would stain on our clothes because who wants to test something like that? No, but your hands kind of turn colors, but then you go like rinse. They rinse, they rinse out. It washes but, off. But. Yeah, but to spray an oil in your hand and have your hands turn the color of the oil is is interesting. And so just be very cognizant of that because at the time I told you um, to pull your shirt down or whatever, we were making a joke and, um, and you didn't want to because you didn't want that oil to touch your shirt. That sounded so bad. So, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they pull it up instead of pulling it down? It's like, I'm just it. And so, um, but, you know, we don't want to touch our clothes, naturally so. I wouldn't touch my clothes with regular oil anyway, but this is quite orange copper. It's the color that you're seeing swirled around here. It's this color. Yeah, no one okay. is that color. And I don't even, normally I show you guys everything, but I don't even want to spray it in my hands because we still have a little bit more to go through and I won't, don't have anything kind of like really to wipe it up. So, trust me on this, it is orange. Yeah. All right, we have a paper towel. Should okay. we try? Okay. And I'll right, spray it on your hands. My hands, your hands, your hands. Right. Okay. See that? So it's like, it's that color. It's that color. Right. You keep your hands closed. Or it's okay. going to go on your jaw list. All right. <laughs> so. Hello. But anyway, it smells fantastic. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, I like yeah, I it. Do see, I do see what you're saying now with a little bit of the dryness. Yeah. I did notice that I had some kind of like dry tangles at the end and I definitely it's that time of year oh how cute my hair <laughs> this side my hair looks so good it's so look, I don't know what happened highlights. here this could have been me moving mm -hmm. it around while it was drying but my curls are very curly yes it definitely um gives your hair curl definition yes and very clumped yeah almost too much I'm like I'm noticing frizz parts now was this me not brushing it out when I was putting the product in I don't know but it, I love what it's done for my hair the thickness of it and the density brought back that for um for me this winter i've been struggling with this i feel like stuff. this duo the leave-in and the gel is just another good main yeah. choice like duo styler yeah like you know a leave-in and a gel absolutely yeah this absolutely. for me does a top tropical moringa no in my um, opinion but i i because that's that's my favorite main choice wash and go i just love everything about that wash and go for mm -hmm. me it does not but i would definitely use it again I would use it again. I, I like the gel. I yeah. like the leave-in. I know on my days off when I was doing the Froga Culture, whenever I'd have my days off, I definitely would reach for that, for those products. I just love those products. This definitely, to me, um, rivals that. I absolutely love the results in my hair. Absolutely. So I will definitely be trying it again on my days off to see if I get just as great a results as I did the first time out. Because Tropical Moringa, in that video, I loved my hair. But the next time I went to go do it, I don't think my results were as cute but again it takes in the time of year the season the weather you know whether or not my hair needs to be cut now and all that i don't know but today this absolutely did something great for my hair and i would have to try again to see if it does it again and i'm sure that it will yeah but we've we never had an issue with, with main choice mm -hmm. styler still we still haven't tried a main choice styling duo that we have not liked no so i would definitely say i like this one as well yeah. it's yeah. gonna be added to the shelf with the rest of the main choice stylers that, that we can't reach touch. for <laughs> Except for all the culture. Yeah, I let you touch for all the culture, but yeah. that's it. The the ancient Egyptian. The I know I'm not gonna be able to touch these because you really, really wanted these so yeah, much. No, so, it's pink. but um, girl, not bothered. I am definitely gonna be okay. touching these. Are you? I like this. Yeah. yeah. I really, really like these. I might these. let you touch these, girl. Mm -hmm. I really like these. I like the little smell. I just like the whole idea of the Kool-Aid. So cute. So the stylers, yes. The oil, yes. Even though it's really orange. Mm -hmm. Um, the deep conditioner, yes. The shampoo, we wouldn't recommend the shampoo, mm -mm. even though it's cute. Cute. Unless, I mean, it might work for you. I don't know, but for, for me, the, the con is the really, really, really strong minty smell. Like in the shower, yeah. it was way too much for me in my chest and my nostrils and my throat. Like I was just like, <gasps> it was way too much mint. Okay, so. let's see what it says um, and why we kind of like sort of, what is it supposed to do? What's all this extra fanciness for? What's it say? The Healthy Hair Food Collection. Blah, blah, blah. I can't see a thing. I'm trying to read it, but girl, <laughs> all that extra. All it says is it's, it's non-stripping, nourishes and ref, um and refreshes hair and scalp, leaves hair feeling soft, says with lasting moisture and shine. Um, does it say what the kiwi is supposed to do? Sometimes like some of the, oh so the kiwi, um, loaded with minerals to improve hair and scalp, the guava, protection from UV rays, okay. um, cool mint helps to balance, soothe and refresh scalp. So it's it's all for the scalp, although the directions do say squeeze into the palm of your hand. 
So yeah, I have been, and I've never but had it's before. It's just way too strong. The itchy scalp, and we were thinking because we were deep conditioning, and my hair's like maybe wet yeah. more than I would like it to be this all these winter. Oils. Yeah, so I, I don't know, but so maybe because my hair feels really nice, good, balanced, and all this dentist maybe it did something, and I'm not aware of what really it did, but um, the whole collection together, this is what produced these results today. So for me to say definitively take the shampoo out, who knows, because it was yeah. all part of this wash and go. Unless today. you're like really opposed to smells. To me, the shampoo, it works fine in my opinion, like it's, it's okay. But mm -hmm. um, to me, it's just the, the scent. Sometimes like scents get me and I like, I won't use a product again just because of the scent. And I like mint, but it just took mint to like a new level for me. Like it it's was just, minty. it was in my mouth and my throat, my chest and my not, and I was just like, yeah. it was too much. So, but um, yeah, that's it. So <laughs> yeah, this is a great collection. Overall. Good job, bro. You can stay on the channel. <laughs> what? <laughs> it matches. Everything matches. Girl, that absolutely does not match. That's, that is red. Oh, okay. It's coral. That does not match. <laughs> coral. All right. Okay. So this is it. Comment down below. Let us know what you think. Those of you have who have seen our other main choice videos, let us know. Does this rank, or what are your ranks as far as our main choice video goes? Is this up there? Like, yes, this is one of your best main choice wash and goes ever in the world and what i like about this is that lately what i've been doing and you got after me i think we talked about it on friday night live where i slapped up some um edge control edge control and you're like that looks crazy yeah. and i'm like i don't care totally because i want it i try to give myself um a haircut with um with edge control okay so i like this part here i like the big and then i kind of like want that crop to the side look so i was taking edge control and slapping it up on my head and you're like that looks crazy but i didn't have to do that i have not put anything in my hair other than this line today nothing in my hair this made its own haircut for me so everything stayed in place oh. it's very cute and normally um, that makes it like extra good because mm -hmm. you always have to do something to the back of your head i do i always put some edge control so i can keep that kind of like sleek cropped look okay. and nope i didn't have to do a thing it did it on its own yeah very cute so this is yeah. it Ta -da. yeah all right <laughs> okay so thank you so much for watching this video and we shall see you in our next video see you in our next video all right bye, bye.